guys, what's up? Welcome to my apartment. Come on in. All right, so first stop is the kitchen, and I love that this is a very spacious kitchen. So we have this big counter here to like prep food, and we also like sit here and eat here as well. There's a lot of space, and everything's pretty standard except for this area. All right, so our fridge is the area where we put up Polaroids of our friends. So whenever our friends would come over and see our apartments, we would use this Polaroid camera to snap a little picture of them. Some of these photos are from different events, like this one is from Coachella, and then this is from my cousin's wedding recently. So it's all just like memories and the people that we care about and love the most. Another thing to note is I really love having fresh flowers in my home. So I recently bought these at the flower market in LA, and I have a lot of fun just picking different colors for whatever I feel like at the moment. So I'm really feeling like the yellow vibes right now. I also really love diffusing essential oils as you may have seen in my essential oils video. And today I have lavender and frankincense, which are two of my favorite scents to diffuse. All right, so now we're in the living room and this is probably the area that you're most used to seeing because I shoot all my videos here. This is the area that gets the best lighting. So I just love how fresh it feels and looks in here. So over in this corner, I have this other little bouquet of flowers here and I love this pink carnation. I think it's super cute. And here I just have some decorative items on the table, just like a pair of glasses and this hip magazine. I love the side table. I actually took it from my old house because we weren't really using it there. So this circular gold bronze material really matches the circle mirror that we got, which I love. I love the circle theme here. As you can see, we also have a circular coffee table and then the coffee table legs are in a kind of triangle crisscross shape which matches the crisscross shape of the rug. So I really tried to pair different shapes here. So here I am on our gorgeous couch that's from West Elm. And the funny thing is this is actually the third couch we've had in this apartment because I ordered the first one it was too small and the color was not exactly what I wanted. So I returned it, got a second couch and the second couch, I just looked at the dimensions wrong and it just was way too big for our space. So this is the third couch. It's really like the happy medium. I literally went through like the Goldilocks and the three bears scenario. You guys have already seen this gorgeous pink throw. I use this to decorate my couch in the back of my videos. And this is from Urban Outfitters, but it was gifted. And behind me are some frames of artwork that I got all from Society6. So I'll link everything down below. Over in the corner, I have this bell lamp that I thought looked really cute. In reality, it looks better than it functions. So it kind of functions like a spotlight and probably like a regular floor lamp would have done a better job lighting up the living room, but I just like it for its looks basically. <laughs> All right, so I can't not talk about the shell chair, which is one of my favorite pieces of the apartment. I was like searching far and wide for an affordable version of this chair. Basically, I found this on Instagram by Egg Canvas, and she has a shell chair in her apartment. She has like the real one. So this is like a designer chair, and the one that I bought is like a replica of the actual designer chair because I'm not ready to spend thousands on a chair but I just think it's so beautiful. And this one is well made enough, although I'll show you guys. This thing just, just comes off so easily. But sometimes when you sit on it, like this back will come off, which is fine, you know? You gotta make sacrifices for beauty and design. And I think it's, it's comfortable enough. I could sit on the chair and it just looks so gorgeous. I just love it so much. And over here in the corner, I have my brand new plant. I just got this guy like a couple days ago from the flower market as well. He is called a fiddle leaf fig tree. I'm a brand new plant mom, so any tips you have, leave them in the comments below, but I'm very excited to be taking care of this thing, giving him a lot of light and water. By the TV, I wanted to show you guys a couple of the board games that we are loving at the moment. The first one is Settlers of Catan Game of Thrones version. This is a pretty epic game. In reality, we've been playing the Settlers version and you could play like the Game of Thrones version, but we just haven't bothered to learn that part yet. So I'll let you know how it goes once we learn to play that version. It seems pretty epic though. And another one is Codenames Disney Edition. So this one's super fun. I mean, both games, we love to have friends over to play board games. That is basically like the thrill 
that happens in this apartment. The most excitement happens in this living room because of these board games. <laughs> So over on this side is my desk. This is usually where I do all of my work. I'm on this computer. If I'm recording podcasts or something, I'll be in my closet on my laptop because my mic is in my closet. But this is where I generally edit videos, emails, do social media, just anything that pertains to lavender and getting work done. <laughs> I'll also show you how I organize my drawer here. I love that the drawer already has dividers. So on the left side, I put some tech stuff like my tablet, some hard drives. In the center, I have like little boxes where I hold other tech stuff. I keep my journals in the center, my little camera in the center. And then on the right side, I keep like pens and post-its, staplers, just stationary stuff. So it's pretty minimal and organized here and I really, really love it. <laughs> Also, this chair that I got from my desk is amazing. It's like this green velvet chair that I just really think is such a pretty color and I got it off Amazon, so I'll link it down below so you can check it out too. P.S. I really am inspired by the shade of green and I'm trying to look for a similar shade for the 2019 Artist of Life workbook. Surprise! <laughs> The door next to the living room goes to our bedroom, so once you walk in, you'll see the vanity. And I already gave a tour of the vanity that's in another video that I'll link down below. But aside from that, it's just like our bed, and then I have this artwork on the wall that says calm, which I really like. And it's pretty simple. I really just use this room to sleep and put on makeup. <laughs> Then we have a bathroom that I'll just quickly show here. I can't do a voiceover there because the light is really loud and it's really annoying. But on the counter, I have the skincare products that I use most frequently. I have a ton of other products that are in the cabinets, but I'll show you my skincare routine in another nighttime routine video coming up soon. So look out for that. And then there's another door in the bathroom that leads back to the kitchen area. So there's two doors to the bathroom. It just kind of loops around my apartment. <laughs> All right, that's it for the tour of my apartment. I hope you guys liked it. By the way, I had to film this by myself. It was quite the struggle, but I hope it was worth it. And if you're interested in seeing more tour videos, seeing how I decorate or organize my space, I have a whole playlist called Tours and Organization. I'll link it below and also right here. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe and watch my relevant videos that I'll link all down below. All right, love you all so much. Bye. My new apartment. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my heart. Uh, kind of came in like a tiny pop bit. Uh.